you know, a castle. You know, when you think of castle, you think of legends, dragons, legendary battles, fairy tales. It, it does. It creates an effect in the whole place. You know, it's having like a castle. <laughs> yeah. Castellot. That's a castle, right? The only remaining part of it is the tower. There's a ladder, but you can go up. I mean, we were talking about the fact that castles are something people... Romanticize? Romanticize. Because when you think about castles, you think about uh, dragons times, and all times and knights mm -hmm. yeah. and, you know, strongholds. You know, border areas for him fight. Nico and I may be a bit more interested in discovering or exploring or cataloging castles than the average person. But I think there's something romantic about them that is really attractive, especially these days. I can't believe I lived in San Francisco for 10 years and I never knew there was a 150 year old medieval style castle in the city. Now we just have to find it. <laughs> then your destination will be on the right. There's the entrance. Come on in. Wow, this just opens into another world out of here, right? Yes, different universe. Because outside is industrial part of San Francisco. Right, it is. It is an industrial part. Once you close that, you kind of get in your own little realm here. Do you think that most San Franciscans even know that this place exists? I get calls from people saying, I have no idea that this ever existed here. So what is the history of this place? This was originally a brewery in the 1800s when John Burnell owned it. This does not feel like San Francisco. It's white real it feels almost like a, somebody dropped it like picked it somewhere yes. in europe and just dropped it here right as soon as i came through the doors i felt like i was in europe so if we walk in here we start to see already there's like a there's a cavern this is the first cavern right here between eight and ten thousand gallons of water go through here every day it's natural spring water and that's what they use to brew the beer and i hear it was pretty good pretty good beer you can see it's hand hand right here, right? Yes. Is that pick marks? Yeah, it was all by hand. All of it. And that would have taken a long time. It's not How long did it take? Rocks. A couple years? Uh, I'm sure it took them probably three to four years. For each one or for all of it? No, for each one. Each one. How much water is here? This holds, I believe, 10,000 gallons. It's a swimming pool. Can you swim in this? Yeah. People have. People have. Yes. In a Not with permission. <laughs> so this water looks pristine. I can see the bottom. It comes from way up the mountain, and it used to be, after the brewery, it was Black Mountain Water. This is an actual water company. From up here, you can get a cup and drink it. Yeah. It's, to me, it's amazing because we're in a, in a city, and yet you still have streams going down. Yeah. yeah, it's unusual for sure. That's what saved this property from being part of imminent domain is this natural spring water. What is that? Like water that's damp up? Well, it's water that comes from this pool to fill up. Would need it. So for beer brewing, you need a lot of water. They needed a lot of water. Yeah. yeah. Next to Andrew's team, they're the biggest company. 
The temperature was a big part of the beer being so good with this water, and the quality of the water was superior to other breweries. And you can see it's like so good because it's just rock underneath. Yeah, it's a natural rock underneath there. It's all carved. So what sort of tool you needed back in the day to build this? I want to say... A pick. Uh, yeah, hand yeah. Picks. Hand picks, a yes. lot of manual labor. Yes, hand picks and wheelbarrows. Yeah. Wow. So, how long would it take to do to carve these? Well, well, it took them. Maybe a couple of years, at couple least. Of years. Yeah. And this is just one of how many? This is one of three. So these brothers had brewing experience. Or yeah, back in England, they had a brewery, so they came out here and found these springs and said, we've got to open a brewery out here. This is the beer making area here. Okay. So all the water would come from the cistern there and they would filter it out into what they had is the ovens that used to exist there. Okay. There's some pieces of the original bottles. So this is the wa when it was a water company, the Albion Water Company, that's from the water bottles. And then the ceramic is, that's the beer. Do you think that Burnell was nostalgic for his homeland? I, absolutely, absolutely. Because yeah. I mean, that's a real undertaking to say, like, we're not just gonna, there's plenty of wood here at that time, not just put up a wood house. We're gonna right. We dug, you know, they used to, to build this, what they used to dig out. Mm -hmm. So everything they dug out, they used it to build the structure. That's why some of these walls are 12 to 18 inches thick. So, I mean, that's also what, probably one of the reasons why it's one of the few things that lasted the 1906 earthquake. Right? Absolutely. Very, very little damage here. So you can kind of see that during the earthquake, a few, this is the area that was affected a little bit, but still the walls remain standing. That's oh, and this, this kind of shows. Oh, so it is the Burnell brothers, so it was yeah. a family affair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the roof must have just caved in. Yeah. That's where the hoisted That's up where, the, yes. right, the beer. The beer. Oh, yeah. So all the beer. It went up to there, all right? All the way up to the top floor. They had a structure, a system that went up there. And so here you can see now from above, we see this would have been the brewing, the operation area. So yeah. I, ovens were on that side and also on this side. Yeah. That where you see that little well there. That's oh, that's a well. Get the water out. That, that oh, that's a well with the yeah. wooden. It's our little speakeasy. <laughs> this is left over from Adrian Voison, who bought the property in 1938. He was a pretty well-known artist. This is from Adrian's era. I'm not quite sure what they use this for. Maybe right. during Prohibition it came in handy. <laughs> right, because this place was shut down during Prohibition, right? Yes. Uh, we've heard stories that was still kind of operating in secret, so okay. not sure. Okay. It was supposed to be shut down. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So this was added on. Uh -huh. From Adrian. Or around 1930. 1938. 38. Okay. Should we go from that door beyond. <laughs> okay. This was the original door, sorry, and there was a staircase that went up. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like a covered porch. <laughs> yes. A lot of buildings in North Beach are old as well, and I love like the old built-in cabinets and things like that, but it's still not built as sturdy as this place. There's just nothing like it. Mm. I always find these things to be the most special to me is just Adrian's little marks, and that's from him. All right, upstairs. Wooden ceiling is fabulous. Yeah, I love it. Even the walls are. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it's? It it's just stone. Yeah, well, they mm -hmm. plas plaster. The lime plaster? The lime plaster, mm -hmm. but yeah. stone, and you can tell where that used to be all brick. Mm -hmm. Oh, above? Yeah, yeah, you see there was an arch. Yes. Mm -hmm. No cracks, it's so strong. There's the infamous musical yeah, toilet, yes. <laughs> 
This is from 1900s. This is Adrian. Adrian. This yeah. is Adrian. <laughs> almost looks like a, like a throne. <laughs> it is. It's a throne. Does the water work? Yeah. Just in case you're trying to... There we go. <laughs> and there's an ashtray. You can't forget about the ashtray. It plays music too. And there's something in French. You that come here, you want to the church, yeah, the, the, the baggage. Got it, got it. Uh, oh, you're making it so ring. Small. But it actually Where's plays it music. So the whole house can know what you just see, right? Yes, <laughs> announcement. So it keeps going? Yeah, there's a couple more stories. Okay. <gasps> Here you can see the stone. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. So is this the old plaster that's coming off? It is, and yeah. the previous owners, we've just kind of all left mm -hmm. that alone, which I like. Yeah. Here's the princess. Yes. There's a second bathroom there. Yeah. It's interesting the ceilings just get shorter and shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Look how deep the windows are. Mm hmm So the walls are just really thick. Thick. Yeah, they sure are. Something nice about not, uh, natural materials and the way people used to work back in the day. I don't react the same way when you find these super clean modern surfaces. I mean, it's not that it's not nice, but it's a different type of nice, right? This if it's more natural, like yeah. rugged and rugged beauty. Right. Now everything's manufactured. It gets narrower now. Mm -hmm. What we are doing now is we are going up the tower, right? Up yeah. The tower. Almost feet from the ground we are because the views are getting more and more yeah. how many feet right now we're about a hundred feet from ground level wow. and then you keep going down and you get caves and and more right like caves and more so you're yeah about 150 feet to where the caves are wow surface wow yeah wow Is something that probably opened here back in the day yeah see if you always notice something different every time we're here so that would have been... Yeah, you're right. It's going to have been like the chute. Yeah, I would think because you're going to see the hoist up there for the beer. The hoist. Mm-hmm. Lift it up the chute. Yeah. There's nothing as nice as seeing a, an old school roof. And so old and it's in great condition. And this, of course, was added by our insurance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the few things that we do, we haven't painted it yeah. yet. Yeah. So here you see above our heads they would bring up the barley up through here and then down. So they bring it up the hoist, mm -hmm. the hoist, the hoist. right? Okay. Up, down below, up here, storage here. And that's why I believe this used to be flat all the way when you see the silk frame. Oh, across, so this whole, this yes. is the entire floor. Mm -hmm. the entire floor. And so this was like a barley loft. Yes. Mm -hmm. loft. Storage, yeah. What is this rolling, what is this rolling bar? Well, is that just for the like rope? Pulling. Down, pulling. So this spins or turns. It was mm. used to pull. It was like a pulley. Oh, and there's a second okay. part too. See? So this is part of the hoist to yes. get it up. Yeah. Yes. So ropes used to go through there and it was positioned this way, I believe, because okay. it would go that way and then and this right here used to twist. So that's how they would roll manual. <laughs> And what were they bringing up and down with barley? That? Barley. Oh, of course, the main breathing in front mm -hmm. of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the hoist and then... It was probably positioned a certain way to where they're rolling everything up, hoisting everything into like bins. And so then the downward part is much easier, right? There was probably a chute. Most likely there was a chute down into where the oven area is. I was just open up the door and... Yeah. There you go. Oh, right into the oven. Right into the oven, yeah. Huh. I said 100 feet, 150 feet. I want to say we're at at least 250 feet. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. So this area used to be shipyards. There was a shipyard, yeah, long time ago. And I just, they fishermen, because I have uncles, great, great uncles that got their fish out. They did their fishing out there. Yeah, so before the Navy, it was the Navy, yeah. an industry of fishermen, fishermen and fishermen. ship 
shipbuilding, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this whole road, my dad said, was horse and cart, and so I can imagine they brought a lot of tools and stuff over that way. And these are pieces from the shipyard my dad was telling me. You mean the wood? The wood. The wood. Oh. They built it with it from the ships. It's so serene. I think partly because there aren't huge windows and there aren't... <laughs> yeah, I think it blocks out a lot of the noise. Yeah. Nothing penetrates here. When I, my dad first bought this, I said, is there any kind of rats in here, dad? And he's like, there's no rats. There's nothing that comes in here. So it just, it's just unpenetratable, yeah, which is great. It would be hard for anything to get up here. I always feel safe here. You do feel safe here? I do, I do. I think once you get behind these walls, I feel really safe. Right, like if there was an earthquake. Well, yeah. There's water, we have water if there's anything that happens. Yeah. There's <laughs> more caves. These are, I don't often get to get in yeah. these, but I think they're, that's pretty impressive, the one we're going to, even though it's not the prettiest to walk to get to. Oh, it's a garage. Yes. <laughs> and a little hidden room. This one is really low, so. Yeah, be careful. Okay. And then watch your step here. Is this also hand hewn? Yes. All of it. All of it. All of this. Yeah. This is a huge amount to dig out by hand. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, uh, this is all original. You can see the, the granite here. This is not. We're not talking about sandstone. We're talking about hard rock. Hard rock. And with like pickaxes and wheelbarrows and. They must have had quite the crew. Yes. <laughs> they actually did have a system here. So it seems like this would be a very daunting task in, in 1871 to say, well, we have a lot of granite and we're just going to dig with hand tools. Yeah. I mean, this rock does not look like sandstone or something. Easy no, it's, it's huge. It's a huge thing that they undertook and they did it. So you could fall, you could see a car right here. You could, a few. You see the water is constantly flowing. Constantly flowing. Well, this is where uh, I open up the water. This is where it would fall. It fall into this or below yeah. the other one. Yeah. Okay. So these are a series of levels. I mean, yeah. so this is subterranean minus two. Minus. Yeah. Okay. So if you see the uh, PVC pipe there, yeah. if you look forward, there's a little shadow. Yeah. That's the light from up above. So what would be the thickness of this? We're like 15 feet below, right? So you still have 50 to 150 feet. So the more you go in that direction, the deeper you get into the mountain. And this is the second tank. Mm -hmm. This is the third tank. Third tank. Maybe that much water? I guess there maybe so much beer. Yes. <laughs> so again, the water is pristine. Mm -hmm. yes. During the 1906 earthquake, this was their main water source because mm -hmm. of all the damage that was done to the city. So this was this was intact. This was yes. So this survived the 1906 earthquake. Yeah, and it came in handy for the city. They were able to utilize the water. Oh, the city used the water. Yes. Yeah, because San Francisco fell apart pretty much. And this water would go where? To the bay. To the bay. Mm -hmm. But right now where we're at in between a bunch of rock so the water was protected yes. i remember reading about that in the history so this is all natural rock right here there is no plaster here this is all clay mud and rock when you came for the first time did you need to secure anything because it wasn't poor condition or just cosmetic all basically cosmetic. And restored a, a couple things, um, just structural wise, but mm -hmm. nothing big. We were shocked how much it was, how strong it was actually. So let's say if you wanted to do something similar uh, uh, again, you could do it. Could you? Could you just make mirrors again? Yeah, you can make mirrors yeah. around the water. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
This is where the filter system is. It backwashes into this and it goes through all the filtration. So you can actually set up a system here where you can bottle water. Okay, got it. There was another cave no. in the other courtyard. Cave dead probably. That's a whoa, right? Can you lift it? That's something you did a long time ago. I don't know what's going to be in there. Well, okay. how are... Oh, there... No. Let's go for it. Cool. I've never seen in there, actually. See water? Oh, yeah. I see it now. Mm-hmm. Well, there it is. Yeah. It's about, give or take, 15 feet deep. 15 so feet we deep? Seeing? We're not seeing the top of one of these. No. This no. is a whole different... Uh, this one, I believe, goes across. But I'm not sure if this one goes under. It seems like it's going that way. You see the chute there? Oh, right into the oven here. Right into the oven. All this was oven? These were all ovens. One, two, three, four, five. Behind this building, yeah. it was all cattle ranches. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Very different San Francisco. Yeah. This is the sole remaining piece of that history. Of San Francisco, yeah. There's no time, I think, just in the modern world to build something like this again. Everything has to be quick, and I think they took their time here and was thoughtfully, thoughtfully built. You're not going anywhere, right? No. Okay.